Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day, this is the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studios with me? Hey, what's up? I'm Donald Faison. How you doing? Well, the famous Donald Faison. My audience is so excited that I get to talk to you. Well, thank you for joining us, Donald. Thank you for having me, Valder. Well, we've, been, we've just really enjoyed your career over the years. Uh, I miss the exes. Is that what it was called? Yeah, yeah, that was what it was called. That was so cute. That was really cute. It we had really a lot was. of fun making that show. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making that show. Well, we had fun watching you make right that show. On. But now you're back as the game show host. Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah, tell me about your new wild and crazy game show, Win Sanity. It's, it, it's exactly what you just said. It's wild and crazy. Uh, it's, it starts this Thursday on uh, GSN at 9 o'clock. Uh, and we're really excited about it. It's a, it's a traditional game show where we give you uh, numerical facts that you have to stack in order. And if you run the table at the end of the game, if you don't lose, you can win $10,000 and a brand new car. You and an audience member can win that. But throughout the game, you're playing for the audience as well. So that's really cool. You know what I mean? You're brought up from the audience uh, to uh, play for them. And the prizes you win, they can win with you. Well, I like that stacking up the numbers. So we got to put them in, in, in sequential order of the way you, the facts roll, correct? Right. Correct. Okay, I like that. Let me ask you this. Are you going to say you get a car, you get a car, you get a car? I, you know, I would, but uh, <laughs> Oprah, I feel like, has coin phrased that. So uh, that's hers, you know what I mean? Uh, and the oh last thing I want to do is get sued by well, you Oprah. Got, that's okay. No, nobody does. Yeah, because so she got all the money. So you got to come up with your own, own car. Okay, I love that. I really love that. But let me ask you, you're going into this hosting gig, and I see this happening a lot on other game shows, people who were comedians, people who were actors or mm -hmm. singers, and now we've got a renaissance of game show hosts. How's that feeling for you? It feels great. You know, at first I kind of felt uh, I was alone in it because I didn't know that all of these other people, I knew that Wayne... Brady had a show, and I thought that was cool and everything, and I know Drew Carey has a show, and I think that's cool, but I thought it would just be the three of us, but, uh, you know, it seems like, yeah, we're back into the 70s again uh, with, you know, game shows being in prime time, and we, did, we haven't experienced that in a, in a while, you know, and uh, at least more than one game show being in prime time, uh, and so it's re I'm excited. I'm excited right. to be a part of it. I'm excited to be a part of this new phase. Okay, um, I, I, I got a face, I've got Facebook and Twitter, and we're live on Facebook, and I got this question for you. And one person wants to know, do you really have to be smart to host a game show? And I don't think they're being facetious. Oh, no. I'm, I'm as dumb as they come. So, yeah, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hopefully that answers that question. Let me ask you, when you, you're going to be hosting, are you afraid to make, I call it the big blooper like Steve Harvey did? Yeah, you know, nobody wants to get anybody's name wrong or country wrong. Uh, but, uh, you know, Steve bounced back pretty well. And, he did. You know, and uh, so, yeah, you know, if anything, that if, 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 if that were to happen, if I were to uh, do an ultimate blooper like that, I would hope to be able to bounce back as well as he did. Well, he told the truth, and I don't know if a lot of people caught that. The truth will set you free. He yeah. is like, hey, I messed up. I messed up. My bad. My bad. My bad. Exactly. And that went a long, long way for him. As a matter of fact, it turned into a commercial, so which that means he made money off of it. Right. 
Let me ask you, so you've got this acting career, so will you simultaneously host a game show and still act? You'll do both? I hope so. That'd be great. You know, we, uh, uh, we shoot our game show uh, in blocks. So we, you know, it's, it's, you know, four or five a day that we shoot. And so, oh, really? Oh, yeah. So we've already shot 40 episodes. So what you're going to see when you play along at home uh, you're going to see stuff that we shot already, but you still have a chance to win at home, which is great for, you know, people who are tuning in to watch. All you got to do is go to winsanitylive.com and you get the opportunity to play along with the game show and win the prizes at the same time. I like that. This yeah. is going to be too much fun, Donald Faison. And when, when do you want us to watch again? Okay, Thursday nights at 9 o'clock on GSN. On the Game Show Network, my Two favorite Two shows channel. back to back. Back to back. Oh, okay. Like Lethal Weapon. Back <laughs> to back. Well, you're going to be a Lethal Weapon for game shows. This is going to be fun, Donald Faze, and I wish you the best that life has to offer. Thank you. In my audience, the Valder BB Show will be watching. Thank you, Valder. Thank you.